Good Monday morning. I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt looking outside on this uh, early part of the, the work week. We have sunshine, but now the clouds are taking over and uh, give it a few more minutes or another hour or so. We may even see a few snowflakes. We're looking at flurries and very light snow showers coming in for just a couple of mornings this morning uh, or a couple hours this morning. That is as the cold front approaches 26 degrees right now. It's uh, slowly climbing. Temperatures have been as cold as 22, but now on the way up. Uh, in fact, I think we'll top out around 40 uh, by early afternoon. But right now it feels like the teens and low 20s. Again, looking like a kind of what is going to be a blustery raw day. We've, we're no strangers to that. That's what we had all weekend. Today looking very similar in many ways. Looking at uh, some flurries, some snow showers, raw winds, and temperatures very typical for this time of the year. 41, incidentally, is today's uh, seasonal average for this particular time of uh, the month of November. But right now, uh, we're looking at uh, cloud cover increasing there. Those flurries or snow showers until about 11, maybe 12 o'clock. We have a couple of sprinkles. Watch the winds up really picking up. Uh, turning to the northwest, they really get stronger early in the afternoon. At times 20 to 30, gusting to 35 miles per hour. High temperature right around 1, maybe 2 o'clock, around 41. But it'll never feel as warm as 41 today because of those winds. Those winds will pick up as we get closer to that uh, that seasonal average. Uh, 26 degrees right now in Rochester. It feels like 17. The clouds thickening. Air pressure is falling. You can read it forward or backwards. The same number, 30.03 inches. We call that a palindrome. It's a palindrome of the barometer later today. So uh, what we're looking at right now, 20s to around 30 in the map. Winona 30. It's 30 in Cresco 24 in Mason City. There's that storm system. It's going to drag a cold front of the area. Ahead of it, there are those snow showers we're seeing diving southward. Now, the bulk of that snow is staying north of us, the heavier stuff, the stuff that will accumulate on contact. We're looking at here just some ornamental snowflakes, nothing to shovel, though. And by mid-afternoon, that is all beyond us. We may see a sprinkle around 2 or 3 o'clock as a cold front pushes through. Winds particularly strong around that time of day. Then skies clear this evening. I'll have clear skies after midnight. Low temperatures around 21. It's definitely a cold night, but not as windy by then. And then tomorrow, light winds, clear skies, plenty of sunshine for our Tuesday. Probably the least wind we'll have any given day this week, but also the coldest high temperature of the week under that Canadian high pressure daytime highest tomorrow in the uh, upper 30s. And then heading into Wednesday, watch the winds turn more to the south, a little gustier on the backside of that high pressure, and there are a couple of clipper systems that will graze us to the north, but working to pull in some warmer air. So Wednesday, a windy, warmer day, upper 40s, a little less wind on Thursday, and by then we're looking at type, uh, temperatures reaching the low 50s. Today, though, windy and cold, occasional sun and clouds, some snow showers, and then the afternoon may even be a couple of sprinkles, but 41 in Rochester, 45 Austin, 44 in Preston with those southwest winds. It'll turn to the northwest this afternoon at times 35 miles per hour. The wind chill in the upper 20s and low 30s most of the day. Uh, tonight, a lighter breeze, partly cloudy in 21. And tomorrow, some sunshine, 37, a chilly day, but uh, actually a very pleasant day. And I'll look forward to a, a peaceful day just in time for my birthday. So tomorrow, not a bad example of mid-November weather. Uh, November 17th, coming up tomorrow. Seven-day forecast. We'll start with the midweek forecast, a breezier weather Wednesday through Friday. Upper 40s to low 50s, keeping in mind that 41 would be typical. We're going to be above that. Those are the three days that are going to be warmer than the average this week. Seven-day forecast beyond those three days, back to reality this weekend. A little rain, maybe mixing with snow by Saturday night, but no accumulation expected there. And next week, temperatures very typical for this time of the year. Upper 30s to low 40s as we get closer to Thanksgiving. And the outlook beyond this week, heading toward Thanksgiving, does look like we'll have fairly peaceful weather, I think, uh, as we get closer to, to that Wednesday and Thursday, the, the big travel day, and then, of course, Thanksgiving itself. Uh, temperatures uh, right around the low, maybe mid 40s, and uh, looks like maybe a slight chance of rain on Thanksgiving, but more than, uh, more than likely, probably not some rain for us. I think we'll be perhaps a uh, very small chance of seeing that rain, but more than likely missing that, and that would be for next Thursday, the uh, 26th. In the meantime, today, uh, yeah, hold on to your hats and stay warm and uh, enjoy today, and I'll see you right back here for Tuesday.